Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I have just finished my Celtic watch along against Sheffield Wednesday. It was a it was a shaky start to the game. Before we get in, guys, please subscribe, like, views and channel's been great, and we hit 1.8 thousand subs, so that's been great as well, guys. But yeah, first win on the Rans Post Coglu for Celtic in pre season. Celtic two, it's, it's Celtic three, sorry. Um, Celtic three, Sheffield United one. It was a it was a good it was a it was a First few minutes of the game was difficult, you know, the younger players came into the game thinking, no, we're just going to pass it, but, and then also went 1-0 down. It was difficult. Uh, Josh Windass, former Rangers player, put Sheffield Winslow 1-up, three minutes of the game. Uh, we grew into the game more, we had chances into that first period of the game, uh, and then Celtic thought, uh, move broke down, they thought, uh, I'm torn, I'm torn uh, they broke into the game a bit, they got into the game a bit, sorry, and then uh, uh, they were past the ball up the park. Um, it's the first real chance they had um, in the second period of the game. Uh, as soon as they came out of the half, the chance they thought it broke down, but then they won it back, uh, passed it to Ayeti, and a lovely near post finish from Albion Ayeti. So his equalised uh, just literally in the, sec uh, the start of the second period of the, the game. And then we. It was, it was much better from Celtic in that uh, second period of the game. It was brilliant pressure. I thought the high press was really good. It pressured Sheffield Wednesday, so they made slack passes. They did that in the first period of the game, which made us a bit shaky, but we grew into the game a bit more, it was great. And then the third period of the game, we got a new tone of the team at the park, obviously Bay and all that stuff came on before that. Um, we grew in confidence with Settle. Before that, Sorrow, what a player, what an absolute player. Um, he worked so hard that game, he was brilliant when he was on the park, absolutely brilliant. He bossed that midfield base, it was lovely turning and finish, lovely pass and all that stuff, it was great. And it was a great finish from Moffat, uh, Owen Moffat in the end to make it 2-1 before the third period of the game. It was brilliant from Celtic there, and I thought, third period of the game, we had a new cha new team. It was a wee bit different, you know, we, uh, when we started the third period of the game, we were all right passing, it was a, wee, a bit shaky again, but we got the goal in the end, it was the 89th minute of the game, Odson Edward, the man himself, a striker's finish, I'll well, be truthful, it was a lovely pass from the youngster, and Edward, he just brushes off the defender in a slotted left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner finish, which settled the game for us, and it ended a 3-1 Celtic, um, I mean, I thought these players were the standout game, uh, but standout players in this, the sixty minutes of the game, where the second, the end of the, the, the second period of the game, Shaw looks hungry for a spot, even though it's just a friendly. He was brilliant. He was looking for the ball every time. Um, as Mal sort of explained in Owen Moffat as well, you know, I was looking at the goal. He's brilliant as well. The winger, uh, some people called him the ginger mess. He was absolutely brilliant that side. That's a, a natural winger. It's tricks and skills, yeah. I know it's a friendly. But I'm talking about Owen Moffat here. I know it's a friendly, right? But the wee man's been uh, great the whole game, as I, I said. He's been absolutely great. It was the chances he made, he created and crosses. It was decent. He, going, he created fouls. Like, uh, he made people uh, make fouls on him and stuff. It was great. Um, it was great to see a Yeti getting the goal sheet and so, uh, Sorrow's great as well. Um, but yeah, I like this Liam Shaw. He's, he's getting in the game. He wants the ball every time. Just boom, you know, boom, and he's, he's passed the ball or get a good slide tackle. Stephen Welsh on the sliding tackles, man. Oh my god. Nain on his defender, poof, right through. And yeah, um, I must admit, it was a good game to watch. I was I was really excited to see Celtic play today. And, um, and I, I, you know, some, may, some people maybe question it, but no, it was, a, it, was a, it was a good game from Celtic today. I thought it was really. It also, it, it, the first. Three minutes of the game, we're all shaking, you know, we went one down right away, Joss Windass. We go out in the game a lot more, I created some chance before the end of the first period. Second period, we got in right away, a Yeti scored. It was brilliant. I thought Celtic, um, as a whole today, we're going to rate them. Eight out of ten, the two teams worked extremely hard, the young players as well. Not a lot of experience on the part, you're talking only the Barcast, maybe Welsh, and then the second kind of team, Edward, Bain, of course, um, that's it really. We got, I don't, that's it really, to be honest. A lot of youth players on the party will probably play for the B team and the Colts. Uh, so yeah, um, I liked the first game of the pre-season and Post Coggle's first win. Uh, and thanks for watching guys, subscribe like, I really enjoyed it today, the watch along was really good to be back, watch along doing Celtic. Uh, make sure you follow on Twitch, uh, Liam NYT, and you'll see all the new watch, uh, live watch ones with me and then I'll do obviously the free things and all that stuff. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. The support has been great. We're at 1.8,000 subs. Can we hit 1.9 by the end of the week? It'd be great. Until then, guys, peace.